Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Okay, today we're gonna do order of operations, but before we get started, we gotta get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, what are you doing over there? What, are you tired? Yeah, I've been working a lot and going. Nobody wants to hear your what? story. You know, we all got our own story, right? All right, let's get to work right now. Here we go, right there. Order of operations. Well, some of you might remember this as, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We will not discuss what she did, but we'll refer to that acronym. Okay, anyway, order of operations to start with the P. Now the P stands for parentheses and other grouping symbols. Because if you remember from pre-algebra, there were parentheses, we had the, the brackets, which is a grouping symbol. We also had the square roots and uh, absolute values. And those are considered grouping symbols and they fall under the parentheses category. Okay, and then our next thing is E for exponents. Okay, we just reviewed that. Now, the next part is MD. Now, a lot of people uh, get this wrong in that they think that this says do multiplication before division. That's not what it says. There's only four parts here. Parentheses, exponents, and then multiplication and divisions. But you've got to do these operations working left to right, whichever comes first working left to right, okay? And the last part is addition and subtraction. Again, addition and subtraction is done working left to right, whichever comes first, okay? So it does not say do addition before subtraction. All right, so let's get to started with our first problem right here. Evaluate, find the value of this expression. 17 subtract three plus seven. Now notice over there we have, there's the uh, acronym and here's the problem, but notice we have a subtraction and addition and which one comes first, Charlie working left to right? Subtraction. That's right, so you must do the subtraction first before you do the addition. Okay, so 17, 17 subtract 3 is what, Charlie? 14. That's right. And what's 14 plus 7? 21. 21, which is the correct answer. All right. Now that we're warmed up, let's do another one over here. Now don't get scared. This one has parentheses and brackets. Well, these are grouping symbols. We have to take care of those first, so we got to work inside those brackets. So some people say, like, we got to work inside out first. Okay. Parentheses and brackets, basically the same thing. It's just that they're different shapes. It's for presentation. Okay, it just looks a little bit uh, neater. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna work inside the brackets. So inside the brackets, we have those parentheses. What's two subtract three, Charlie? Negative one. Negative one, okay, so we'll bring that down and let's bring down our work. There's the plus five, there's the brackets, and two and the plus seven, right? The two is being multiplied to that bracket. Remember, when you put a number outside of a parentheses or a bracket with no operation, it implies multiplication. Okay, so we still got to work on those brackets, right? We're still in the first part, parentheses, right? In order of operations. Now, what's negative one plus five? Four. That's right, so we'll bring down our bracket. Remember, it's being multiplied by two, and then you're gonna add seven. Now, there's two operations there. We have a multiplication and an addition. We have to do the what first, Charlie? Multiplication. Multiplication. And two times four is? Eight. That's right, and bring down our seven, and eight plus seven is what, Charlie? Fifteen. Very nice there, Charlie. Our answer is 15. All right. Let's continue on. Let's do another example. Don't get scared. All right, Charlie, here we go. We have 5 plus 3 in parentheses. Subtract 2 squared divided by 4 times 3. Oh, and 5. Now, let's follow the order of operations. We've got to take care of the parentheses first. So 5 plus 3 is what, Charlie? 8. That's right, 8, and then bring down your work. Okay, now, let's go to the next one. We've gotten rid of the parentheses. What do we have to do next, Charlie? Exponent. The exponents, right? Now, the exponent is attached to that 2. Now, be careful here. Now, this one, it's 8 subtract. That's a subtraction symbol there. So, you don't worry about that. Okay, that's a subtraction symbol. So, we've got to take care of the exponent. The base is a 2. It's not a negative 2. The base is 2. And 2 squared is what, Charlie? 4. 4, right? Okay, so... 2 squared is 4, and now bring down your work. Watch. 8 subtract 4, right? Divided by 4 times 3, so be very careful with that. Okay, now, we take care of our exponent. Now, we have to do multiplication and divisions, working left to right, whichever comes first. So which operation comes first, Charlie? The division or the multiplication? Division. The division. So we've got to do that division first. And again, don't get that subtraction 
confused with a negative one. That's a subtraction symbol, right? And so just think of it as four divided by four. What's a four divided by four, Charlie? One. It's one, right? And now bring down your work. Eight subtract one times three, okay? Now, we have a subtraction and a multiplication. Which one do we need to do first, Charlie? Multiplication. The multiplication, right? And so we have one times three, which is three, and bring down your work. Eight subtract three. And finally, we can bring it home by saying eight subtract three is what, Charlie? Five. Five, that's right. So that's why it is very important to write do your work in steps, right? That way you don't get everything messed up and you'll learn it better. A lot of people just write a bunch of numbers all over the place and then you get all messed up and I can't even read your answer, so, especially his. Anyway, so what? be sure you write in steps, okay? That way you'll retain the information better. Okay, here we go. Let's do another one over there. Four squared divided by two cubed plus three times five. Oh, what fun. Okay, we don't have parentheses. We'll do the exponents. We have four raised to the second power, which is 4 squared, which means what, Charlie? 4 times 4. That's right, 4 times 4, which is 16. What does 2 to the third power mean? 2 times 2 times 2. That's right, 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Okay, now we've taken care of the exponents, bring down your work. Now, what comes next, Charlie? Division. That's right, the division. So, 16 divided by 8 is 2. 2, that's right. So we have, bring down our work, 2 plus 3 times 5, what do we do first? The addition or the multiplication? Multiplication. That's right, multiplication. So, 3 times 5 is 15, and so 2 plus 15 is 17. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, so it is very important to write in steps, and it will be useful if you just underline which step you're doing, you know, wh which operation are you doing in each step. That way you'll, you'll retain it better. And then as you get better, and better at this, then you can skip steps. But everybody tries to skip steps in the very beginning, and then you never learn it, and then that runs into problems. So anyway, that's it for now. We'll see you all again soon.